just stuck there dwelling on top and you guys know I hate that I know so many people who loves this who swear by this hold thy breaths guys hold thy breaths don't faint all right hey guys it's Sue here go back to my channel all right guys I'm back with yet another don't buy uh, videos I realized that a lot a lot of you guys have been enjoying this and I'm just like sure why not I do test out so many products that you know I'm bound to have products that don't work out for me so without further ado let's get this video started oh actually no before that you guys know the drill with these videos just because I put them in this video does not mean they're terrible you know it just means that they didn't work out for me so please Bear that in mind and now let's really get started all right the first product I have here is this is the Abib cream coating mask tone-up solution now this is actually something that uh, I don't actually recommend you guys to get <laughs> because I'm a little disappointed here Abib I mean don't get me wrong Abib makes one of the greatest sheet mask or masks in general ever I love their uh, Madagascar side Gumpducti stick sheet mask as well as their latest one collagen mask made out of hydrogel you know the whole packaging and design aesthetics is really on point and the quality is actually great as well so I had a lot of expectations for this but I was so disappointed in the quality so let me get into the details this like I mentioned is a cream coating mask and you know what guys I actually really really love the idea behind this because if you open it up you can see that one layer the outer layer is actually dry so this is perfect if you want to do a little bit of multitasking when you have your sheet mask on because you can dry your hair without your hair actually sticking onto the sheet mask which is very very annoying or you can get a little bit of work done you can clean a bit and you only have the essence on the inside part where you actually stick it on so I absolutely I thought it was genius I was I'm such a multitasker I multitask everything seriously and this is supposed to brighten up your complexion it has nice cinnamide as is as its active ingredient and so I was like this is going to be great you and I we're gonna be right or die you know a beep it's like they're trustworthy however sir I'm sorry sir it did not work out and one of the reasons is because the essence or the cream it's actually more of a cream type that you get with this sheet mask after you take the sheet mask off after like 10 to 20 minutes it feels like none of it has actually been absorbed into my skin everything is just stuck there dwelling on top and you guys know I hate that so useless so futile you know so obsolete like what are you doing there you know did I say to stand still and look stupid no I said no I'm kidding that's a tic tac I saw <laughs> and the formula is not not even like a rich nursery one it's so pasty and it's like uh, a bit gunky of course I try to blend it out but even so after I blending it out the next day morning I can still see the formula just there and it gets everywhere and I just feel like the formula is not really doing much to my skin and so I feel like they need an upgrade I feel like they need to revisit the formulation and come up with a more better elegant formula you know one that absorbs better and one that doesn't feel so mucky on the skin and like I mentioned it has niacinamide as its active ingredient to do the brightening but at this rate uh, I'd rather just use another serum or skincare product with niacinamide in it there's so many great ones out there so I'm just like uh, honey you're not cutting it mm, you're not making the cut I'm sorry I'm very very sorry lo siento but adios bye bye all right next in line is in this video just jolly I have this Lindsay cool tea tree modeling mask cup pack now you guys all I've been kind of obsessed with modeling masks they've completely changed my life honestly no exaggeration and I love 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 doing them they're honestly like my treat yeah they can get a little bothersome but like the effects are so good that I can't seem to quit okay so you guys need to try it and so I've been trying to find like a good modeling mask for you guys like if you live in Korea just go on coupon just type in modeling mask and get like the first ranked or the second ranking product it's like kind of similar but I realized like for some some of you guys who live overseas or you have no idea like where to get them I've been trying to find good ones on yes style so they can try them out and the Lindsay modeling cop packs are great because they're one usage and 
And you know, it's quite a dedication because like I mentioned, these modeling moths usually come in like these huge ass bags. So big that if it went through customs, uh, the police would be after you, you know? They're so big and so these are great because first you don't need to make that kind of commitment first uh, right off the bat. You can just try it out and see how it is. And so these are great. These are on Yes Style and they have quite a variety. They have like the calming ones, they have the collagen ones, and then they have the vitamin ones. And the others are great. However, this is the one that I'm just like... Uh, I wouldn't really recommend it because like the same, it's cooling, right? And so as tea tree, it's great, but the cooling effect is too cooling <laughs> to the point where it hurts. Hurts and it feels too artificial. It's not like the cooling sensation or the calming sensation you get by using, I don't know, mugwort or centella or sika. You know, um, like pasta, what's pasta in English? You know when you stick those pasta coolers on and you get that, that freezing sensation? While that might be great if you maybe have like a sore muscle or something, I just don't feel like it's really ideal for my skin. Although I will be honest, these are okay if you had an extremely hot day and your face is really really red like for example after I work out and my face is heated even after taking a shower these do work these do work but on a normal basis when I just want a nice regular modeling mask this is not it because I remember the first time I used it I took it right off because I was like, oh my gosh, this is too strong for my skin. And I guess I just didn't enjoy it. I feel like modeling masks themselves are so cooling and so hydrating that you don't need that extra sensation. But for the rest of the other types, definitely check them out. So I love the fact that it comes in the cup so you don't need a separate bowl. So what it's composed of is a powder. So all you have to do is dump water in it and you just mix it. They do they give you a spatula? I forgot. I just use a spatula I have at home. This is from one thing. Just mix it up. You could honestly use anything and you just put it all over. And these are great because, oh my gosh, there's so many products. There's so much products. And because I guess, because I'm not so skilled at it, I end up using a lot and the modeling mask uh, ends up becoming really thick. But even so, there's like ample amount that I can get away with that. And so that's one thing that I really, really love. So if you have a smaller face dairy, uh, you might want to split it in two or something, like split it in half and use it twice but otherwise honestly like you get so much product that i think it's awesome. all right moving on to the next one which i'm a little scared to mention because i know this is a cult i know so many people who loves this who swear by this and yet uh, this was a product that i just couldn't get on board hold thy breaths guys hold thy breaths don't faint all right it is the cosorex unbound snail 96 mr paradise I'm so sorry. I feel so guilty for saying that this didn't work out for me. Oh my gosh. I feel terrible. I feel like a terrible person. Don't get me wrong. I love Cosrx. Uh, let me just recommend some of their products right at the bat because I love them. Uh, I love their R. Oh, I love, I really am digging their new RX line. Seriously, guys. I just finished their vitamin C serum, which was a little bit too potent for me, but I loved it. I love their um, the retinol 0.5 oil. I'm using that right now. But anyways, they have really, really great products. I love them. Don't get me wrong. This is so popular that I feel like I don't really need to explain but and I do think this is more popular overseas than within Korea because I've seen so many international fans of skincare use this. So this is just basically an essence formulation with 96% of snail filtrate that loopy sticky snail ingredient and it also has uh, hyaluronic acid and this is supposed to have so many benefits. <laughs> Fades dark spots, improves skin texture, anti-aging, intense hydration. Yes, yes, yes. Plumping, soothing care, infuses hydration. Oh my gosh, you can make a wrap out of this. So many benefits. The only reason why I just couldn't get on board was the formulation. It is too slimy and it dwells on top like crazy. And like I mentioned, I am a huge fan of, pro uh, of formulations that absorbs right in. Like I want them to get their butt and get inside. Well, not technically because I know that a lot of skincare actually doesn't, you know, seep in or penetrate whatever, but they're there to really soak up and moisturize the outer layer. And there's some 
products or formulation that makes it feel like it's getting absorbed fast and those are the ones I like because I have no time to waste. I'm too busy to take naps. Whereas this one, I'm just like here. I mean, it's not too bad to be honest. I am exaggerating, but I'm just like, oh my gosh. I just aged 10 years. To be honest, it's not this product specifically that I don't like. It's just any formulas that have this kind of sensation where it's slimy. I don't like it now and I didn't like it when I had oily skin back then. It's just, it's just, a, I guess this is just a matter of preference because I know so many people who love this. And P.S. Did you guys know that cell mucin actually doesn't have any benefits to improve acne scars or hyper, hyperpigmentation? I thought that uh, they actually were able to do that. But I saw this uh, reels by Ra Globa Ramon, who, whom I love, and he is a chemist, a formulator. And he said like, there are no actual proof that snail mucin improves hyperpigmentation. I'm just like, excuse me? Oh my God, there's so many things that we need to debunk in this beauty industry, you know? <sighs> It's just so tiring. I love the snail line from Dewey Tree. I think that's a formula that I'm so on board with. And I do recommend that if you have more of a drier skin type because it's very nourishing, but it absorbs really fast and it feels very, very moisturizing. I think uh, one of you guys actually recommended me to check that line out. And then another line that I like is by Neogen. I like their cream. Oh, it feels so delish and so lush. Uh, likewise, it feels a bit more nourishing and do recommend, I don't recommend that for oily skin type. No, 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 no. All right, last but not least, I'm going to be a bit conservative with this product because I still want to give it a more uh, tries, but so far it's kind of been driving me crazy. Uh, it is a Hero 4 Shield Super Light Sunscreen Broad Spectrum. So I've been buying a lot of SPFs, like really, really popular SPFs and, uh, that are hyped up in the US, you know, Europe, etc. And I, so that I can do like a review video for you guys. And I've noticed that this is a product that's, you know, kind of popping up and up and coming. I may be wrong. This may be like super famous in the States and I like, I have no idea about it. But anyways, first off, this is a physical SPF with 17.5% uh, of zinc oxygen site and f let me just tell you like my first impression of this was oh, I was mind blown because to be honest the only zinc oxide formulas I know of are from K Beauty which you guys know are so pasty they're so nasty <laughs> I mean, they have their, you know, upsides, which is that they stay on. They're great when you're like doing outdoor activities, but for the most part, it's na they're nasty. I'm so sorry to say that, but and so the fact that you were like the fact that a brand had a zinc oxide, um, uh, well, yeah, SPF. Get it together, Sue. <laughs> SPF that felt like this. I was just like a whole new world like aladdin where have you been you know take me on that carpet right and it whisked me through the spf journey and i was just like oh my gosh this feels amazing even on my hands this feels amazing the only reason why i'm a little i was a little thrown off was because this peels like crazy under my makeup or like other skincare this just peels and I don't know if it's just me or like, I don't know, t let me know. Let us know what Thai thinks uh, because I want to so get on board with this. This was affordable, a lot more affordable than like the Elta MD one. Now there are a lot of reasons why sunscreen peels. I am aware of that. First, it may be due to the fact that your skin is too dry and that's why it causes the SPF to kind of roll up in balls. The second reason is because maybe the skincare, actually there are three reasons. So the second is that the skincare that you put on just doesn't um, mix match well with the SPF. Like I'm using the ordinary serum right now. It's just like it, it is making everything peel off. So there are formulas that will do that. And then the third reason is because uh, you've put on too much skincare, despite whether they match really well with SPF. Just because you've just layered so many skincare on, of course that's going to cause lotion burgers or peeling problems and so there are a lot of reasons and so i'm trying to like eliminate one factor by another one so that i can know for sure whether this is the culprit of the crazy peeling because it is so annoying because when you start peeling off you have to remove everything start from scratch and it's like oh my gosh my time my money my skincare it's not fun. It's, it's definitely not fun. Oh, that is itchy. All right, guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave down the comments what you guys think of these products because I do, I do not want to sink alone in that boat alone with this product. There's got to be some of you out there who are not fans of this. Please don't. 
Don't leave me hanging. But anyways, make sure to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in my next.